Limited editions have existed since the very first generation. Multiple recolors, special parts, unique designs, and to name a few. Although most limited edition Beyblades are moderately easy to obtain, other than for paying a premium price, there is one specific Beyblade among the rest that is almost impossible to get. Why is that exactly? Well, it's been confirmed that there were only 10 ever produced. The Beyblade is none other than Griff Dragoon SA-165 WSF. Now before we get started with this video, I would like to address some comments. First off, the Big Bang Takafumi 1403G pen would be considered the rarest as there's only one copy that was ever made, but it was never released to the public. So this video will cover the rarest Beyblade that had an official release. Cause the Big Bang Takafumi was made as a novelty gift for the author of Beyblade. I'll leave a link down in the description below that shows a video of Takafumi himself presenting this. So in order to calculate the rarity, it is determined by how many copies were made and if it is an official release, not some custom model and all that. Let's get back to the video. Griff Dragoon was released through the June 2012 issue of the Koro Koro magazine that was published around May, of course with only 10 lucky people being able to get this out of the hundreds or thousands of issues that were published. Surprisingly enough, this is considered to be the first Beyblade to have been released with the Griff Chrome Wheel as Archer Griff was released in stores a month later. Also, this Beyblade never had a product code for some reason. Other than having a special recolor, the emblem on the stone face instead had the official Korokoro magazine logo, which in fact was also based off a dragon. After doing countless hours of research online, I couldn't find anything other than the official images, so we don't have a clue who actually owns one, but rest assured at least we do know that there's a possibility that it has gotten in the hands of 10 people or less. Considering the fact that this was released via the Korokoro magazine and those who live in Japan would get these first, I would assume that there is a greater chance for most of the copies to be located there. With that being said, you can still make the Beyblade yourself without the fancy recolor. The parts that you need are any stone face, preferably crimson red, the Dragoon Chrome Wheel from the Dark Knight Dragoon Starter, Griff Chrome Wheel from the Archie Griff Brewster, and the SA-165 Spin Track as well as the WSF Performance Tip from Archie Gargoyle, which is a prize Beyblade from Zero-G Random Brewster Volume 2. Obtaining these parts are relatively easy, with the exception of Archer Gargoyle. Now if you do prefer Hasbro, all you'll need is the Griffin Dragoon Air Synchrome 2 pack, cause it has all the parts required for this combo. Also in this set, Ronin Dragoon's color scheme matches the one from the Korokoro Magazine Limited Edition, which I think is pretty awesome. Good job Hasbro. So there you have it, probably the rarest or one of the rarest Beyblades of all time, hypothetically speaking. As there's very few copies that exist, let me know down in the comments below and how much do you think this would cost now. According to Beyblade Saurus's video, top 10 rarest slash most expensive metal fight Beyblades, he estimates that its value would be over $1,150. And that wraps it all up, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like these in the future. I would also like to give thanks to Beyblade Wiki, Beigen SG, as well as Beyblade Saurus for providing the relevant information in regards to this topic. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next video, take care.